welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing what we had for dinner this past week. I normally share these videos every Friday morning at 8 a.m. Central Standard Time, but today I'm participating in this huge What's for Dinner collab that is hosted by Julia Pacheco and Caitlin from Living That Mama Life. So I'm going to link both of their channels down in the description box along with the link to the playlist. And this playlist is full, y'all. There are so many YouTubers out there that share what's for dinners, and they're all gonna be in this collab today. And so you are in for a treat. There is gonna be so much inspiration for dinners to come. So I just thought I would quickly introduce myself in case you're new to my channel. Um, but like I said, I do what's for dinners every Friday. I do grocery hauls, sometimes weekly, but at least every other week. I like to throw in a cleaning video or video. <laughs> I get tongue tied or I'll throw in some other food related video so I hope that if you're new you'll hit the subscribe button and also hit that bell notification so you'll be notified anytime that I upload a new video so anyways I will stop rambling and let's get on to the video <music> Tonight we're going to be making millionaire, or million, sorry. Tonight we're going to be making million dollar chicken. So I'm going to start out, I've got six ounces of cream cheese that I have softened. It was pretty soft. I stuck it in the microwave for a little bit longer just to make sure that it was all the way, you know, soft. It, it should be. And then you're going to want to add a quarter cup of mayonnaise. I'm just using Hellman's mayonnaise but any kind of mayonnaise will do. You're also gonna want a half of a cup of bacon pieces. And actually, um, I just bought these real bacon pieces and that's what I'm using. I have a half a cup of those. And you're gonna use, the recipe calls for one and a half cups of Colby cheese. I have Colby and Monterey. And so I'm using half of that. So it'd be about three quarters of a cup. And then it called for um, about, um, it was about a half a cup of green onions chopped up, which is equivalent to about four green onions. So we have that there. And then also, I just wanted to add, it didn't call for this, but in the, in the description, the lady um, where I got the recipe, she was given some tips and she said you could put some ranch dressing mix in there, about a tablespoon. And I have a package that's open. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that because it just sounded, actually that, that's gonna be the rest of what I have. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add that. And let me make sure, yes, that's it. And so now we're gonna mix all this together really well. Okay, I have a nine by 13 inch baking dish here and I'm going to add my chicken. The recipe called for about two pounds of chicken. And so I had a three pound bag of chicken breast. So I'm using what I think is about two pounds. So these are pretty thin and they actually started falling apart. I don't know why, but they did. So um, I'm gonna start putting those in there. As you can see, these are just the great value chicken breasts and you can kind of see they, they were falling apart, but that's okay. So, I'm just kind of laying these in the pan. And what you're gonna wanna do is um, spread this mixture over the top of the chicken. So, I'm just gonna kinda, I'm gonna start putting some on and then I'll spread it out. top with the remaining cheese so I'm just gonna top it with some more cheese about three quarters of a cup would be if you're measuring and then 
it says to bake 30 to 40 minutes or until the chicken is cooked through with an um, internal temperature of 165. Um, since my chicken is not real thick, I'm going to start at 30 minutes and see if it's done in 30 minutes. So we will put this in the oven and then I'll let you know in just a little bit how it does. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna cut up some potatoes. I'm not cutting up a lot because it's just me, Courtney, and Adrian tonight eating supper. So I'm just gonna cut up some potatoes so that we can make some homemade mashed potatoes to go along with our meal. So I've got four potatoes here, just russet potatoes. And we're gonna get those cut up and... Okay, y'all, I think that should be enough. I'm just gonna cover it with some water, put some salt in here, and we will bring these up to a boil to make the mashed potatoes. When I get those all boiled up, I'll show you how I mix mine up. Hi, guys. <laughs> okay, y'all, now we're gonna mix up our potatoes. I have um, drained those, and then I have probably, I think this is about a half a stick of butter. I'm gonna go ahead and put in there with them and then I got my masher and I'm just gonna kind of mash it along with the butter and it'll melt with these potatoes as yeah, I'm mashing that, it. Gosh, and um, whoa. And next I'm going to add, I like to add some sour cream to my mashed potatoes. So we're gonna add, I don't know, that's probably a good couple tablespoons or so. Stir that up in there. And then I like to also add whipping cream. And I don't know how much I add. I just kind of stir it and then I may add more and I just do it until it's kind of the way that I want them to be, I guess. I'm gonna throw in some pepper, a couple little pinches of pepper, and then some salt. And stir it up some more. that'll be good. I'm going to check on our chicken and see if it's done. The timer just went off. I got the chicken out. I'm going to kind of, let me see. I'm going to um, see what the temperature is on. Since this chicken is so, I don't know, I'm trying to find a piece that I can get it in. This thermometer is kind of slow. Trying to see if it's going to keep moving. It's a little over 160. It needs to be at 165. So I'm going to put it back in for about five All minutes. Right, y'all, it is done. You can see it's actually almost to 170. So we're fixing to plate it up. We have our. There's how it turned out. Over here is the mashed potatoes. And then we have all the fixings for salad. Okay, y'all. Courtney, how is tonight's supper? I like it. Adrian and me both think that it tastes like pinwheels. If you don't like know what pinwheels are, you probably do though. They're like the tortillas with cream cheese and like bacon and sometimes like green like celery green, green onions. onions and sometimes you'll put ham it's or different good. things. It's good. I guess because of the cream cheese stuff kind of tastes like it. And the chicken makes it even better. And the potatoes are homemade so they're good. Mm -hmm. And salad of course is salad. It's good. All right, Adrian, how about you? Is it good? Yeah. It's just, I'm not a really fan of pinwheels and they taste like it so I don't really like that much but the mashed potatoes are good. <laughs> and I don't like salads, so I don't have any salad, but, 
I think it's really good, y'all. This Recommend. was this was easy to make, and it actually didn't take that long. Yeah, it really didn't take very long. I mean, we still have some Not left. I can have some for lunch, and it's just us three. And. Bryce is not here. He's at band practice. <laughs> and my husband is not back from work. So, yep. This is a good one, y'all. Ignore the stuff in the background, but I wanted to show y'all this. My husband made a lemon pie and homemade whipped cream last night. So, I'm going to have a piece for my dessert. But I just had to show y'all that. Hey y'all, tonight we are going to be doing a crock pot meal. We are going to be making um, queso chicken tacos. So I have about two pounds of chicken breast, boneless skinless chicken breast. I have those in my crock pot. Now I have a bowl over here. We're going to mix up some stuff on top to go on over the chicken. I have a half a cup of chicken broth. I have a four ounce can of diced green chilies. I'm going to open those up and put them in there. I also have, um, it calls for a 10 ounce can of Rotel. This is actually just the Kroger brand. Um, so we're going to open that up. I'm just going to mix all that up together real good. got my chicken in here and like I said it called for two pounds um, I'm not really sure I think this is close to two pounds or as close as I am gonna get it and I probably should have trimmed the fat off but I didn't I just want to make this easy so it calls for one package of taco seasoning and I always use this um, Fiesta brand of taco seasoning and one tablespoon is equivalent basically to um, one of those packages I have a half taste tablespoon uh, I couldn't find a tablespoon. I think they're all in the dishwasher, so I'm going to put, this is the other half. So you're going to sprinkle that over your chicken. And then we're just going to pour this mixture that we just had over the top. And that's it. Um, we're going to cook it. It says on low, I believe it was six to eight hours or on high for about three to four hours. And then the last thing you'll do is... Um, once it's done, you'll shred it and then drain almost all the liquid except for a little bit. And then we're going to add in three quarters of a cup of this salsa con queso. So, we'll just set that to the side. We'll cover this up. Turn it on low is what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to let it cook all day. Very easy. Okay, y'all. It has been cooking all day long. So, I'm going to take this and we're going to drain out almost all the liquid. We're gonna leave a little bit of it and then we're gonna return it back over here. And then I'm gonna take and add three quarters of a cup of the salsa con queso. But first I'm gonna start shredding this up. And you see, I'm trying to do it with a fork and stuff. But then I remembered someone saying, hey, use your little meat masher thing, which I never use for meat. And I'm sorry about all the fog. <laughs> My screen's fogging up. But anyways, I use that little meat masher cutter thingy to um, shred my meat and then I add the three quarters cup of the salsa con queso I use the Tostitos brand we're just going to put that back in there stir it up and then we're going to cover it and let it just warm up for about 20 more minutes And then I decided y'all to go ahead and open up a can of these Bush's Pinto beans. Um, I thought I had some Spanish rice and I didn't feel like making homemade rice. So I'm just gonna make these beans. I'm adding in some of my Pinto bean seasoning, the Fiesta brand. And we're just gonna let this warm up and that will be our side. And looky there y'all, look at that taco. They were so good. I put lettuce, tomatoes, some cheese. We had the beans. Mm. Very good. Got a little cheese right there on your cheek. I do? Yeah. So, how did you like it, Ross? How do you like the um, tacos? Good. They're good, right? They have a little spice to them, but they're good. Adrian has already finished, so he's eating. Spice never hurt anybody. Did you like them, though? 
looked very, I thought they were very good. Just wish I would have. spice. Have y'all tried McDonald's spicy chicken nuggets? No, have you? Cadence had some at Van Hall. Were they good? I don't want to try them. Okay, Courtney, how do you like it? She's about to eat another one. Courtney. Pay attention. Ow, my head. Did you like them? I'm still working on mine. I thought they were very good. Put more chicken in it than I did, but yeah, very yummy and easy. Hey y'all, tonight I'm gonna be making something I've never made before, lazy lasagna. It was sounded very intriguing. So I have one pound of lean hamburger meat and I'm just going to start breaking this up. And if y'all have watched me before, you know I can't just cook plain old hamburger meat. Now, let me tell you, this recipe did not call for the hamburger meat. It only called for spaghetti sauce. And I can't eat just plain spaghetti sauce. I have to have some meat in it. So I went ahead and added this one pound of meat. And so I'm going to season it up with some garlic powder, onion powder. I'm going to put some oregano. And then I went ahead and put in um, some minced garlic and then salt and pepper. So I'm going to let this meat just continue to cook and then we will be back to add our sauce. Okay, time to add the Prego sauce. Y'all know I love Prego sauce. And like I said, if you didn't want to use hamburger meat, you could just totally skip this part and then you'll go to the next step which is where we're going to start layering our lazy lasagna and y'all this is such an easy recipe so good for a quick week night okay i have a 9 by 13 inch uh, baking dish and i'm going to put a little bit of this um, meat mixture down in the bottom of our pan and then we're going to move on to the ravioli and i have a 24 8 ounce bag of frozen cheese ravioli I just use the Walmart brand and then we're just going to place this, we're going to do one layer and we're just going to place them across uh, like this. Okay, then we're going to take our meat mixture and we're going to put about half of it on top of these raviolis and I just kind of spooned it over and then I come back afterwards and I kind of start smoothing it out, trying to cover up the ravioli noodle, the ravioli they're not noodles, raviolis, right? <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Okay, I have one bag of mozzarella cheese. Um, it's about two cups, and I'm going to go ahead and layer about half of the cheese on top of the raviolis. And then after I do that, we're going to put another layer of the ravioli. I cannot say it. We're going to put another layer of the ravioli, raviolis. I keep wanting to say ravioli noodles. We're gonna put another layer of those on top. <laughs> and then we're gonna finish off by putting all the rest of that spaghetti sauce over the top of the raviolis. And then we're gonna put the rest of our mozzarella cheese. And I have a little bit of shredded Parmesan cheese. The recipe said you could put about a quarter, no, not a quarter, sorry. You could put about a half a cup of that on top also. I just kind of eyeballed it. I don't know how much I actually put, but anyways, that's what I did. And then finally, we're gonna cover it with foil and place this into a preheated 400 degree oven, and we're gonna let it bake for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, I will take it out and remove the foil, and then you put it back in uncovered for about 10 it said 15 minutes but i only did it for 10 minutes you're basically wanting to just brown up and melt that cheese okay 30 minutes passed i removed it and took off the foil and then we're going to place it back in the oven and i only cooked it for about 10 more minutes which was perfect um it came out of the oven and smell and looked so good and then i quickly made some of the texas I keep wanting to take, say Texas toast, the New York Bakery breadsticks. Okay, mommy, what do you think? <laughs> um, 
I like it. I think it's pretty good. I've actually never ate frozen cheese raviolis. I've had it like a long time ago out of the can. But it's been a long time. Oh, and I got a new cup. Ordered off of Amazon. It's really good. It's a good cup. Got it's water. really pretty. Yep. Okay. Adrian, what do you think? He saw Sonic from after school. What? What do you think of food? What about after school? No, tell me. Your about Sonic food. drink. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's good. The breadsticks are good, too. I'm mm. not, I'm not, it doesn't like, I don't really like that ravioli that much, but. Really? It was actually really good. Okay. But I don't okay. like those raviolis that we had in the cans. Uh, okay, Bryce, what do you think? Good? Mm-hmm. Okay, and now. It can't for, beat real no. lasagna, though. Yeah, it's not as good as the real lasagna, but for something that's just easy to throw together, it's not bad. Um. <sighs> I've really never had raviolis that very much, so I don't know what raviolis taste like. <laughs> I got raviolis at school sometimes. Big I've never raviolis. tried them. Yeah, um, you're too busy bringing lunch. They haven't had um, it this year. Bring it two times. Um, I never had rav raviolis out of a can, so I don't know how that tastes, though. By these, I just eat them all the time. Mm -hmm. By these, they're pretty good. And the breadsticks. I'm a ravioli fan. I'm good. <laughs> I good too. Ravioli, ravioli. So, ravioli. so thank y'all so much for watching this week's What's for Dinner. Next Friday, we'll be back to our normal schedule. And she just knocked my phone. phone off my lap. But anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. See you again soon. And doesn't my mom look so pretty? Oh, y'all, every now and then I do fix myself up. The kids, <laughs> when I picked them up from school, they were all like, why are you dressed up? Where did you go? And I was just like, I just felt like dressing up today. <laughs> See y'all next week. Bye. Bye. Uh, yeah.